Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools, where students from all grade levels practice citizenship skills by supporting our heroes and giving back to our community. <laughs> students and staff at Nelson Elementary welcomed home an Army soldier from a nine-month deployment to Kuwait. But most of the school was unaware of the surprise unfolding before their eyes. When Staff Sergeant Zachary Holder found out that the 569th Engineer Detachment Unit, which he's a part of, was coming home earlier than expected, he and his wife jumped at the opportunity to surprise their third and fifth grade children at Nelson. With help from professional school counselor Christina Buckingham, the school organized a military homecoming celebration disguised as a military career presentation. While students in second, third, and fifth grades thought they were dressed in red, white, and blue to learn about various careers in the military, Sergeant Holder waited patiently behind the curtains on stage to surprise his kids. After City Councilwoman Pat Woodbury read a brief description about the day's special guest, Sergeant Holder revealed himself to an eruption of cheers and loving embraces from his kids. Students held signs welcoming Staff Sergeant Holder home, thanking him for his service to our country. It was a meaningful, emotional moment that students and staff enjoyed experiencing together. And second graders are continuing to honor the military through this year's grade-wide eye care project. Students are writing cards of support and gathering items to send a care package to troops deployed in Afghanistan. <laughs> For the 12th straight year, Minchville High School students have put the needs of others way beyond their own comforts, and 20 Monarchs had the goosebumps to prove it. The 26th annual Polar Plunge Festival in Virginia Beach is a major fundraising event for Special Olympics Virginia. This year's Frigid Plunge helped raise more than $1.1 million to support year-round sports training for children and adults with intellectual disabilities as they pursue their athletic dreams. Under the guidance of math teacher Ken Zobie, Minchville's SCA led the entire school to donate $3,400 to this worthy cause. And 20 Minchville students joined 4,000 fellow plungers on a normally barren Virginia beach in February. With the water's chilling temperature nearly matching the low 30 degree air temps, this year's plunge was not for the faint of heart, but rather for those with a heart forgiving and whose generosity will inspire special athletes to become future champions. <laughs> Woodside students understand that safer driving is just a click away. Woodside High School students and staff are proving they're no dummies by pledging to buckle up every time they're in a car. Woodside is one of 32 high schools across Hampton Roads competing in the annual Get It Together Seatbelt Challenge presented by Drive Safe Hampton Roads. By increasing seatbelt usage and promoting safety education among teenagers, Woodside placed first in the annual competition three times, including the past two years. And this school year, Woodside Seatbelt Club organized a number of school-wide activities to encourage students, staff, and families to buckle up for safety. With help from club sponsors, lead physical education teacher, Susan Reagan Pimblett, and activities director, Brandy Garganta, the Seatbelt Club spent their lunchtime encouraging classmates to sign a pledge to always wear their seatbelts. During an evening basketball game, parents and staff took the safety pledge, while the Seatbelt Club kept a watchful eye out for seatbelt usage in action. The club also does monthly parking lot checks as students, staff, and parent drop-offs arrive in the morning. With support from local State Farm agent Ann Sparkman, Woodside was proud to increase their school-wide seatbelt usage to an amazing 98%. Crash test dummies Vince and Larry made sure to remind students to buckle up, while a wrecked car donated by Denby Body and Painting served as a very real illustration of the need for seatbelt use. Driver education classes made safety education fun by holding seatbelt relay competitions. And school resource officer Crawford taught criminal justice club members 
how to act smart if they're ever involved in a traffic stop by giving the whole school an opportunity to get involved in seatbelt safety awareness, Woodside students certainly have something to cheer about. The exceptional preschoolers at Gatewood Peep spent a week honoring the first responders who keep our community safe. During Heroes Week, students were able to meet firefighters and a police officer as they learned about their careers and how they serve the city of Newport News. The students enjoyed listening to the first responders, learning about the tools they use, and cherished the opportunity to climb aboard their vehicles for a hands-on learning experience. For many of these young peepers, this experience sparked great excitement and allowed the students to dream about possible future careers. It also gave the students an opportunity to personally thank these real-life heroes for their selfless service to our citizens and community. <laughs> From now through March 5th, visit the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center to experience an impressive collection of artwork from some talented young artists. The Newport News Public Schools Student Art Exhibit collects artwork from different grades and represents every school in Newport News. The creative, thoughtful, and cutting-edge artwork showcases a range of styles, techniques, and media which students used to bring their unique creations to life. The gallery is open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday. <laughs> Friday, March 9th, is a regular instructional day for students. Originally, it was scheduled as a half day, but now it's a full day of school in order to make up for missed instructional time because of snow days. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In. And check out more fun and informative videos at nnpstv.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching. <laughs>